cloud <laughs> uh, CPU happenings. What, what does that even mean? Is I there, know. Is there a cloud CPU versus like a edge CPU and on-prem data? So like, what is this? Just fancy marketing talk here. We could talk for hours on this one. Uh, <laughs> we, 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 we can do that. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. I can talk for hours about anything. Um, so it, it's interesting. Uh, you know, it's the reason I, I kind of put this in as a topic is I've been, you know, as you read through kind of the press and you talk to, you know, our customers and IT folks, obviously, um, you know, you just hear different things. And, you know, a couple things stood out to me. I saw a report that showed that, you know, 40% of ARM CPUs uh, in the cloud are being deployed in China. Um, I said that like Trump, China. China. Um, uh, I found, you know, uh, we, we, we recently learned that uh, Intel developed a specialized 96 core part for AWS. Uh, Intel or AMD has 128 core um, Bergamo coming out into the cloud. Uh, there are rumors of Azure, Google, pretty much everybody de developing their own custom silicon um, to meet their needs. That's not even hitting on, you know, what's going on in the risk community. Companies like in companies like Tenstorrent and others that have kind of developed their own specific um, silicon. It's a crazy mad world, Pat, um, that we live in. And uh, it's just I'm fascinated to, to see how kind of like cloud, yes, you know, our cloud CPUs unique. Yeah, in some ways they are. Um, they are unique, right? It is specialized silicon to some degree. I think at some point I heard Intel um, had a cloud customization organization that was um, full of engineers that was bigger than the engineering or organization of its largest competitor. Mm -hmm. um, that is crazy to me, right? So yeah, it is specialized. So and I'm kind of curious how this kind of translates down into enterprise IT. This is where I was going. You know, as, as Intel develops a specialized 96 core part for um, for AWS, you know, are there chances that this gets kind of turned into a general market part that can be consumed by enterprise IT? Um, as AMD takes Bergamo that's targeted at, at cloud computing customers, you know, is there a possibility that this goes, you know, into large enterprise organizations? Does ARM eventually make its way down into enterprise IT? There are just all these interesting dynamics that go on you know, it kind of um, it leaves it leaves consumers not really caring about what the back end is necessarily for their workloads. But when does this actually start bleeding down into the mainstream um, consumer market mm -hmm. or it doesn't even matter? So this is another one I was kind of thrown out for kind of uh, debate among uh, four great minds um, and kind of, you know, if you guys have any opinions on where this market's going and what it means to uh, to the enterprise. Well, we could we could help them brand it. We could call it C squared PU. There we go. <laughs> well, I mean, we need a we need a new PPU: CPU, DPU, GPU, APU, right. NPU, IPU. You yeah. know, IPU. Yeah, thanks, Will. So that's, <laughs> that's Marvell. That was Marvell's initial. Uh, I think it was. I don't know. Anyways, a lot of PUs uh, out there. No, I give um, AWS and Ampere a lot of credit for this. Right. Mm -hmm. And as long as I know, I think when I started the firm 12 years ago, it was AWS wants a lot of cores and not a lot of anything else. Right. Yep. And, I, you know, I don't need uh, AVX. I don't I don't want certain features that I wanted for my architecture. And then they ended up building their own with Graviton yep. and then Ampere recognized that, OK, this is an AWS thing only uh, AMD, although it had announced um, ARM. ARM cores, gosh, early on for the data center, it never actually, um, it never actually came to came to fruition. Uh, what I'm really interested to see is is how much of the stuff that non cloud people did AMD really take out of there, and then how much did is Intel in their future chip? Is it 2024, 2025, Matt? I, I like to call these many cores, right? Yeah. Yeah. You take, uh, and then, by the way, and then how do you, uh, the reason that Graviton slides in so easily into AWS is because they invested in this technology called Nitro, yeah. which is essentially an offloading 
uh, mechanism. Yeah. And they've done that for, for, for a decade. So uh, I think this also falls under the competition is great. Um, and competition is really good for uh, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would, I hear what you're saying and it is. Um, and it is, I just, I, I, I really struggle sometimes with understanding, you know, kind of, you know, does what is happening in the cloud translate into buying patterns or adoption patterns within the enterprise arm? You know, when did, when did uh, AWS come out with Graviton? Four years ago, five years ago? It's been a while, right? It's been a while. Yeah. Still they're on their uh, third generation. Third generation. Mm-hmm. Still don't see it in the enterprise, right? Or not, not Graviton, but you still don't see ARM bleeding into the enterprise in any great way, um, right? Um, you know, AMD has killed it in the in cloud, but they've struggled with uh, breaking through the enterprise. Question is, does enterprise even matter anymore? And I don't mean that in a negative way, but... I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Matt. I, I kind of have... I look at it as kind of the... What is your design center, yeah. right? Like you have to start somewhere, and then yeah. you depop or pop yeah. for yeah. for your tertiary markets. And yeah. and I think it's a great question. You know, with the the buying power of the data center on prem is still larger than the public cloud. Okay, yeah. mm-hmm. but and and then there's a lot of question and debate on <laughs> where is it going to go. AWS first service was 14 years ago. Okay. And then we had this not so great private cloud experience with OpenStack, Mm -hmm. which was great, except that was open, but it wasn't a full stack. You had to complete it. And only every year did the new bits come down and that didn't work for anybody. So uh, by the way, OpenStack was kind of Amazon's old, um, technology that they had that was the genesis of that but now we have containers okay that we've all agreed the container is the thing that even if you you put a vm in a container right it's a container um so we have a transport that can be used across right you can use uh red hat technology and vmware technology and kubernetes um and you know even amazon ecs as a transport that they can go around for that compute layer. Yep. So that's a long way of saying, I, I don't know, we're three or four years into this hybrid multi-cloud. Yeah. And, you know, there's been some Yeti sightings of repatriation <laughs> uh, as well that, you know, the way that I look at repatriation is, Hey, as soon as I see the revenues of the on-prem folks going up, bigger than the compute of AWS, GCP, and Azure, and yeah. Oracle, Oracle Cloud, sign me up as a believer, baby. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm there. And I'm also not a, heck, I was, we were the first analyst firm to, to really 10 years ago put a stake in the ground for, for um, hybrid. And everybody was like, no, you're, you don't believe you're a cloud denier. I'm like, no, <laughs> I used to be Google's biggest supplier in 2006. I am not a, a cloud denier. Um, I get it. So yeah, by the way, AMD used to be, um, uh, Google's data center used to be Pyrax and they would put bare PCAs and they would, um, Velcro, um, storage, uh, uh, on there. Like that, that was their, that was their infrastructure. And AMD was a huge uh, provider of, of that, uh, of that technology. Yep. Um, that's where our revenues came from. Exactly. <laughs> so they're like, wait a second, Optron, why are you growing so much? It's not IBM. It's it well, IBM was big. It wasn't necessarily HP. Yep. And it's like, oh, Google. Yep. Right. And back in the day, Google used to go all in on a on a processor architecture. Like yep. all the new data centers for a year, right? Yep. Were 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 AMD uh Optron. It ended up uh this is public information. Google was uh, AMD's largest Opteron uh, customer. 